Hey folks, Phil V-Man here. It's been a while since I've checked in. Been a crazy busy spring. I'm not quite sure why it's been so hectic, but it has. Uh, but I thought I'd give you an update on a few things. Had lots of folks asking me how did those uh, splits that you made up last summer, those broodless summer splits, which I think, uh, or at least at the time, I said were a pretty good uh, way for a beekeeper to build up and anticipate their winter losses so you don't take a hit in the spring. And worked out pretty much just the way I, I wanted. Uh, let's turn the camera down while I'm working here so you can see what I'm doing. You don't need to see my face. Um, so, uh, while I'm trying to catch, uh, break out a couple nukes here while I, uh, it's a Sunday afternoon, it's a first day of sunshine, just about, well, really, in almost two weeks. Nicest day we've had in quite a long time, so it's been pretty frustrating. Um, so I was here putting queen cells in and I found this one nuke that wasn't broken out so I gotta fix that before I get going here and I thought I'd give you an update. So anyway, the update is uh, wintering success. On the uh, just regular last year's production hives I had 80% survival and there's probably been 10% or so that have needed, you know, major intervention to get them on track. So, uh, let's call it, uh, you know, let's call it 70% good, you know, good, uh, probably half of those are splittable or have been split already. And then on the, uh, over the summer splits, really quite pleased with those. 95% uh, survival. They came out of winter looking a little smaller, but they've really jumped out uh, very nicely. Uh, been very low maintenance bees, nearly all, you know, new queens. I uh, haven't, you don't find a problem every time you go back to one of those yards. Uh, so having, having just a little over 200, you know, low, low maintenance, high success uh, hives. I think there's 237 originally, and I think I've got, uh, well, there's still, oh, there's our girl. There's the queen here. So she's going in this nuke. I think that's three frames of brood. That's probably more than this thing needs. Oh, that's pretty good. There. Okay. So uh, these things I leave, I've been leaving two frames of brood. They're actually a little bit strong, but I don't need the bees very bad. So. Um, we better go get another empty nuke. Stand by. Okay, where was I? Uh, so those those summer splits, and real nice bees to work with. Um, very reliable. Uh, I'm pleased with the stock. Now that's that's not about when they were split, but. Yeah, certainly the, uh, those queens have been allowed to show what they're worth this spring. And uh, I have been able to take, the split rate has been lower, but I'll bet, I'll bet 20, 1 in 5, no, it's a little aggressive, maybe 1 in, 1 in 6 or 7 has been a hive to at least donate some bees and brood. Uh, some to some of the smaller ones in the group, but mostly to new hives. 
So, and then these, these overwintered nukes, what you're looking at here, look at that. You like brood? Can't beat that. Now you can say, well, that's a really good queen because it's such a good brood pattern. Part of it is, well, there she is right there. She's kind of forced into a uh, un unfair, unfairly compressed, you know, the brood might be a bit more scattered if she had more space to put it in, but um, So I basically these have been able to make one nuke plus take one extra queen. Here's some queens I caught today. And these will uh, serve to, uh, when we find a bad hive in the first couple days of the week, we can just knock a new queen in. Just cut in the shade. Okay, so just gotta close this up. I'm gonna take one nuke. It's gonna be pretty strong. Oh boy. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make two nukes and I'll steal some extra bees from some of these stronger units. Because otherwise it's ridiculous. Oh, well, now I need that queen back. Aha, do I remember which one it was? this with two pretty big frames of brood so they're gonna these uh, these nukes are gonna jump right back out ahead on me too uh, I'm gonna have to be pretty quick with the boxes coming up shortly we've kind of had a false low because uh, the cool weather but that's going to end pretty shortly. Uh, in fact, some of my hives would get pretty swarmy because they're a little big if it wasn't for all this cool weather. So I guess you thank your lucky stars. But uh, unfortunately, we've missed most of the flow with, uh, for spring flow with this cool weather. So I'm going to have to start feeding again. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, other updates. Uh, extractor project is getting really close to being done. Uh, did some work to wire up the second uh, auger. Installed the drive and, and wire up the motor yesterday morning. It was raining cats and dogs the last couple of days, so I did lots of inside shop work. And we've done lots of of bee work kind of in a drizzle amazing and that's it's gone pretty smoothly though advantage of cool weather is your your queens will stay on the frame and uh so when we were making splits we were finding queens and i had th um, part of that i had my son and my uh, my good employee sari so we would we would uh get through a bee yard pretty lickety split and uh, one reason not a lot of videos were cut was we'd be in and out of there and the weather was miserable. But um, So I'm, I've got the hives I've, I want and maybe more. So now it's just going to be, you know, conf as go through, confirm the queen installations, pile on the boxes, and away we go. So looking forward to a uh, good summer. Uh, the moisture should mean a good crop. I always say, uh, you know, you're gonna have a bumper crop if the mud's up to your bumper in the springtime. So we have, 
we have all the ingredients for success here. It's up to Mother Nature and the bees now. Uh, I've done what I can. Thanks a lot. See you soon.